What is up everybody? So today, I got the shot fan going. It's pretty hot out here. I'm gonna pull in the blue truck, hiding back there. I'm gonna pull it in, get it out of the, the sun out there, get the air going in the shop, and then I'm gonna try to get it running today. I think it, uh, it'll it at least turn over. It might try to start. I don't know what the fuel condition's like. I'll, I'll inspect all that stuff before I actually fire it. I might run an auxiliary fuel tank. I don't know. But I'm just curious, like everybody else, if this thing's even good, if it'll even turn. So let's get this thing in the shop. All right, I got a little impatient, but I actually had a brilliant idea. I'll take all this crap out while it's outside still. I might uh, get some shop air and blow that out. Yeah, I'll probably do that. So I got it in the garage. I think for this video, I'm gonna at least try to, you know, I might pull the valve cover gasket on it. I don't know. I think as this as this video goes, I think I'm gonna try to just inspect it. Pull the plugs, check the wires, make sure the fuel um, lines are all good. Make sure the fuel tank's not nasty. But again, I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing, so. I do know this, the next time I do like a small little video like these. Poppy's Batina, baby. I just remember the ones I could tell the mini assistant. That's it. Yeah. to hold this camera and do this man that timing chain that's a dual chain um, gosh that looks really good I'm trying to look down there at the guides and see what they look like that looks brand new that guide I wonder if he just had this done that guide looks brand new I don't know if you guys could see the way down in there Wow, okay, so this engine might be really good. All right, so I think I'm gonna get a uh, valve cover kit, change that. If you guys know, there's these half moons in the front and the rear, uh, just like the other, a lot of Toyotas out there, they've got kind of that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna check the fuel next, see if we got lines ran to it. This filter looks brand new. Just joking but I'm gonna have to order all these parts so it'll probably be a while before this next video hits I just wanted to go through this thing and just make sure um, you know I can enjoy it for a little bit before I start uh, considering doing a 3-4 swap or anything I only live a couple miles from my house so if I can do baby trips here and there that'd be pretty fun so anyway I just want to make sure it's all good to go once the drivetrain's all good you know I'll check the engine I'll check the transmission then we'll go through the axles and then I know the front burr fields are bad. I mean, I'll I'll show you here after a little bit. I got a tripod on right now, but they are beyond gross on the inside of the uh, or the outer side of the axles. 
Uh, rear, I have no idea what to expect. Air, obviously, it rolls smoothly whenever you have air in all the tires. Um, so yeah, pretty stoked the way things are going, especially, you know, it's been sitting forever. And I don't see, as I'm working on this thing, I'm kind of glancing over and looking at things, making sure, you know, nothing's eaten up, stuff like that. So anyway, it's all fun, you know, it's just a bunch of fun. I added like, maybe a few ounces of this of water to this yesterday just to see if there's anything that would come up so obviously i think the radiator is full i don't know if it's full of water or if it's full of mixture uh, so far that's just the water i added yesterday not unless it's clogged up in there really bad which i doubt but i would not be surprised at the same time so yeah, hopefully by the next time I see you, this thing will be ready to fire off. Or else I might do another quick time lapse thing while I install the filter and the uh, valve cover gasket. I'm going to check the lashing on the valves too. So far, I mean, that's normal. You're, I've got a chart somewhere where it shows uh, which cylinders to check at which um, you know torque setting and all that fun stuff but uh, just got to make sure that those are somewhat in spec i might take the distributor out or at least the cap check the dizzy but it's also cool it's got that manifold shield on there too bet you that rattles like heck but that's cool that they left pretty much this entire truck original you know for a farm truck it's usually all beat up which i'm not saying this is some show queen um but usually, you know, well, obviously that mirror, you know, stuff like that. That's what farmers do. They just, they don't care about appearances. As long as it works and gets the job done and they're not out a bunch of money, that's the whole premise of a farm truck. Um, but as far as the engine goes like that, it's, it's just kind of like what I'd expect. Pulling field mice out of it, mud daubers everywhere. So, could be worse, could be better. But I am not complaining, you know. I told the guy I'd buy it as is um, for X amount of dollars, and if it was um, even better shape, then I would pay him more. But the frame obviously has some Swiss cheese issues down the road I'm gonna have to address. But I wanna just make sure that, uh, I don't know, have a little fun first before I start considering doing a engine swap. Also, I pulled the seat, I pulled the seat, or I'm gonna pull the seat out of my son's truck also. I might vacuum this out today. It is my Saturday. It's probably one o'clock in the afternoon. I've yet to eat anything all day. So I'll probably vacuum this out, spray some uh, bug killer around this truck in case there are already living animals or creatures or whatever. Hopefully I'll kill them. And they don't, you know, get all over my shop. My shop's pretty airtight. And uh, I'm gonna take my seat and my son's seat to an upholster uh, he's really good in our area. He's getting older, so I don't know how much longer he's going to be around or if he's still open. Um, if he is not open, I'm going to reach out to you guys, see who to use or who do you use in the area um, or within 100 miles or so. Because I want him to be kind of retro looking, but not ripped up or smell like mouse turds. And then this came out of the intake. I don't know if you can see all that bug guts and mud daubers. Anyway, I just making a part pile over there. It's cool. It's going smooth. Nothing yet to complain about too hard. Too bad. That fuel pump looks newer. So yeah, I'm gonna get back after it. generous amount. Please don't die. Please don't blow up. Too young to die. Got oil all over you, but hopefully that was worth it and it's running. Sweet.
eat. All right. I knew it was gonna throw oil. I didn't know it was gonna chuck it that far. Kind of sucks. Other than that, I'm really excited. I think uh, in the next couple days or whatever, I'm gonna try to uh, button it all back together and then I will start pulling the grill, the bumper, maybe the bumper, these lights, the emblems. I'm gonna leave the mirrors on. I'm gonna pull that vent. That is crazy that it fired off. So yeah, guys. I'm going to clean my camera up now. Thanks for watching. Bye.